To create my item types, I've opened my Drainage and Utilities DGN library, and then I'll open the item types dialog. So I've created two simple examples, one for nodes and one for conduits. So let's have a look at the item type for a conduit. Here's the expression, which is going to read, in this case, a value from the drainage database. So to show you how that was constructed, I simply need to start typing the property that I want to load. So I start by typing civil element properties, and then here's the expression builder functionality that we've implemented. So as I start typing the name of the property that I want, you can see how the expression builder is offering me the relevant properties. So I want the Manning's N value. There's several properties that start with that text. So I can use the down arrow key to select the property that I need. That's completed the creation of the expression. I can test it. It's valid. So I can close the dialog. I've created a second simple example for a node, and in this particular case, the expression is going to retrieve the label of the outgoing pipe to a node. Having created the item types, I then associate them to the feature definitions. So for example, for the conduit, I'll open the properties of the feature definition, and from the items category, I can select the items that I want to attach. In this simple example, I've used place node and place conduit to place these two chambers and a conduit, which you can see in plan, 3D, cross section, and profile. Now, if I pick an item in any view, we can see that the item type has been automatically attached to the graphic when the feature was placed. And we can see exactly the same thing wherever we pick, whichever view we select from. Now, if I change any of these properties, so for example, I'll change the conduit name and I'll change the Manning's N value. I'll then pick the conduit, for example, from the cross section view. And you can see that the item type has automatically been updated. And I'll pick the node from the profile view. And again, you see that the item type has automatically updated.